what mindfulness provides is the ability to recover quickly. For most people, when they're knocked off balance, the recovery move is to counteract that. And as a consequence, it becomes this pendulum swing. And they're, you know, it's off balance. Their response is uh, too large. It's reactive. I want to be able to come back to center and then make a choice about how I want to respond, not react. We do so much to live a healthy spiritual lives, but we do it from the neck down. You know, we, mm -hmm. we, we want to influence our mood by what we eat. We want to influence our mood by how we exercise. This is a little three pound thing up here that runs the whole show. <laughs> and so we got to do something to exercise effortlessly, make the connections within the brain like we do the connections within our muscles. Yeah, so mindfulness is to train that muscle of being present. And in presence, that's, that's where possibilities exist. That's where original ideas exist. Uh, that's where intimacy exists. So if I had only one wish, it would be to be wise, to know what to do. Uh, if I couldn't use the wish in that way, I, I would wish for something else like um, unlimited source of chocolate chip cookies or something. <laughs> Because I really, I, I wouldn't want to screw it up with, with that kind of power. The most important thing is that if you have hurt another human being with your anger by speaking your truth, you can always go back and forgive yourself. But what I'm very excited about is this idea of bringing mindfulness into everyday life, incorporating it into everything we're doing, including sex. And so, like you said, it stops being a practice and starts being a way of life. But my commitment to being truthful and open and honest is my superpower, and it creates intimacy and success in a way I never thought possible because anxiety has its own habit loop where, um, you know, rumination is born out of problem solving. And, the, you know, our minds start to be like, oh, how can I fix this? Or how can I have more control in the future? Or how can I avoid, you know, this terrible event from happening? But then that rumination itself doesn't feel very good and starts to feed on itself where we, you know, we have some unpleasant thought or an emotion and then we ruminate and that in itself is unpleasant and then it starts to just kind of ping pong and spiral out of control. And as we tighten down in this tiny little ball or this black hole. Yes, I, 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 I found myself when I started doing this facing that. I just love it. I 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 love